Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of DE News Roundup. Glad to have you with us. Last week, filmmakers, animators, and visualization artists converged on Los Angeles, the city of dreams, as some call it, to learn and share tips and tricks at Seagraph, the annual computer graphics show. Here, people come to play with pixels and virtual reality and augmented reality, and find new ways to bring digital models to life using real-world physics. If you are thinking this Apollo 11 moon landing footage looks suspicious, you are correct. It is suspiciously detailed, with every sun ray and moon surface perfectly reflected in the astronaut's suit and helmet. This is just not how camera technology worked 50 years ago when this event was captured and sent back to the Earth. This is a NVIDIA RTX GPU powered recreation. A ray traced rendering of the event, if you will. RTX includes, among other things, deep learning or AI features. This feature is responsible for speeding up rendering in CAD programs such as SolidWorks. As Seagraphs, attendees get the chance to experience the moon landing themselves, partly cinematic magic, partly AI-driven real-time rendering. This instant moon landing moments were made possible by NVIDIA GPUs. Hi, I'm Greg Estes from NVIDIA, and we're here at SIGGRAPH 2019. What we're showing is an amazing compilation of AI pose estimation and real-time ray tracing. Let me tell you how all of this works. The first thing that we're doing is we're aiming a camera at the attendees, and we're using new research from NVIDIA that does artificial intelligence-based pose estimation. The second thing that we're doing in real time is to take that information and we put it in a virtual scene. Then we're rendering that scene now with the attendee as an astronaut on the moon in the Apollo 11 lunar landing scenario. What used to require motion capture, filming actors wearing suits with computer recognizable markers can now be done with GPU accelerated AI as seen at the NVIDIA booth. NVIDIA's rival AMD is also at the show, demonstrating its own AI-powered denoising feature in ProRender. Denoising involves the use of machine learning to guess where light rays will end up, so the guesswork speeds up the formation of the final picture. Most rendering programs with denoising give you the option to turn it on or turn it off, depending on the level of accuracy you want in your picture. ProRender is a free rendering program from AMD. This is a countermeasure against some rendering programs that work only with NVIDIA GPUs. ProRender is available as plugins for leading CAD packages such as Modo, Autodesk Maya, Autodesk Max, Blender, and SolidWorks, among others. For a long time, key shot renderer remains strictly running on the CPU, but this is about to change. Users are surprised to find Keyshot setting up a booth at Seagraph to demonstrate the rendering program running on the GPUs. As a piece of hardware with powerful parallel processing features, GPU is ideally suited for workloads like rendering, so a renderer that doesn't take advantage of the GPU is a bit of a disadvantage. According to Luxion, the developers of Keyshot, the NVIDIA RTX real-time rendering capacity is the primary reason for starting to support the GPU. That means Keyshot also offers AI-driven denoising, a feature of RTX. Keyshot 9, the next version, is expected to be available in fall 2019. This is going to be the first version of the renderer with GPU support. So, depending on the type of scene and the CPU cores available in your own workstation, you will be able to run Keyshot 9 on the CPU or the GPU. If you are running Keyshot in CPU mode, the Intel Open Image Denoising will kick in, said Luxion. Currently, Keyshot only supports NVIDIA RTX GPUs. SME, the Society for Manufacturing Engineers, and its partner Stratasys, a 3D printer maker, are teaming up for the additive manufacturing competition for this year. We are here at the 55th Skills USA, Skills USA, Skills USA competition in Louisville, Kentucky for the national competition here in the additive manufacturing contest space. We focus on manufacturing at SME, and so we have developed the Additive Manufacturing Contest with our partner Stratasys. 
so that uh, students in both high school and college can compete with the latest technologies and the latest manufacturing developments. Programs like this allow us to give students exposure to career and technical workforce development opportunities. Uh, additive manufacturing, while it's been around for 30 years, the demand for it has grown quite a bit and the need for skilled workers in additive, in design for additive, in technician and operators is, is immense. So we get it all the time from uh, significant companies. We need the next generation of employees. The winning team will receive scholarship from SME along with free access to classes and conference passes, SolidWorks CAD software, and a MegaBot mini printer. That is all the news for this week. For more news related to engineering and design industry, please go to Digital Engineering 24-7. That's digitalengineering247.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel called DE Streaming. I'm Kenneth Wong for DE, bidding you a good day and farewell until next time.